Hi, every pediatric squad. Meconium aspiration syndrome. It means the baby swallow the liquor full of their poop to the airway and lung. Wow, this can be serious. So why the innocent baby would swallow their poop? Is the meconium dirty and lead to pneumonia? The answer is no. It's not dirty. Then why it can lead to severe lung condition? If you want to know, we will go through what will happen in this video in a few minutes. Let's go. So the first question is why babies swallow the meconium? Every fetus starts producing their poop, which is called meconium, since the third month of gestation, when they are inside the uterus of mummy. When the innocent fetus experiences stress such as hypoxia, this will stimulate the parasympathetic system. This will increase the peristaltic, which means your bowel moves, and relax the anal splinter. So, they will pass the meconium into the liqua. And this will happen especially in those post-term and those babies with intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR, um, they will have higher risk to have the passage of the meconium. And that's why these babies have higher risk to have the MAS. So after they pass the poop, during the delivery, when the baby has initial breath, they may aspirate the meconium sting liqua. And this will go into airway and lung. Okay, now we understand why the baby aspirate the meconium, but why can it be so bad lead to severe lung condition? There are two reasons. The first reason is due to obstruction. So the meconium will go to the airway first, then the meconium plug may obstruct the airway and leads to lung collapse. Or if they does not completely obstruct the airway, there are some only some partial obstruction, it will lead to ball valve effect, which means the air can go into the alveola, but they cannot go out. Why? Because when during the inhalation, the airway diameter is larger, and that's why the air can pass through the obstruction. But during the exhalation, when the baby is breathing out, the airway diameter is smaller, the air cannot go out. So when you keep having the air can go in but cannot go out, it will lead to air trapping and eventually will lead to alveolar rupture. So it represents as pneumothorax or air leak on the x-ray. So the second reason why the meconium will lead to bad lung condition is that although the meconium is sterile, the meconium itself can cause inflammation of the lung. And also the mucopolysaccharide component of the meconium provide an excellent growth medium for microorganisms. So the bugs can just grow there and lead to infection of the lung, pneumonia. So all of this, the obstruction, the inflammation of lung, the pneumonia can lead to hypoxemia. And for a baby with poor ventilated lung, with hypoxemia, it can lead to persistent pulmonary hypertension of newborn DPHN which is due to the increased pulmonary vascular resistance. And if this happens, it will lead to hypoxemia further. So now we understand why it happens. So what would the baby present? So by common sense, the baby has the lung condition. They will have respiratory distress. They will present as like nasal flaring, insucking, side noses. They may also have the wrong type on auscultation due to the obstruction of the airway. And also due to the ball valve effect and over distended chest, um, they may have the barrel shaped chest. And for severe cases, they may have the PPHN. PPHN, how would they present? They will have the diagnosis and also have significant difference between the pre and the post ductal SpO2. So now we understand how does it present. So if we suspect this, what should we do? So we need to do the investigation. So firstly, we can take the blood. We take the blood gas for lung condition. We take the inflammatory markers such as CRP to real infection. We do the septic workup. Of course, lung condition, we need to do the chest X-ray. It represents with hyperinflated chest or diffuse patchy uh, densities. Or they may have air leak or pneumothorax just due to the pathophysiology I've mentioned. It. Also, if you are suspecting P patient, let's say you see the baby with pre and post ductal difference uh, in the SpO2, you may need an echo to look at the pulmonary pressure, look for any like Chagas bit regurgitation, etc. 
So this disease is diagnosed by clinical and also the chest x-ray. Alright, we make the diagnosis, we know how to present, we know why it happens, how should we manage? Some people may advocate endotracheal suction, which means put in the endotracheal tube and then you suck the meconium out. This is one way, but this kind of suction should not be done routinely because um, they do not have enough evidence to reduce the risk of MES. You may do it if it does not affect your resuscitation. And of course, for baby with lung condition, they may need oxygen, they may need positive pressure ventilation such as CPAP, NIPPV, or mechanical ventilation. For medication, we also need the empirical antibiotics to reduce the risk of infection, and we should use the minimal handling to avoid the PPHN. So for severe cases, um, let's say uh, the baby needs high FiO2 requirement, like greater than 0.5, they may need the surfactant because the meconium can decrease the production of surfactant this will decrease the um, surface tension of the alveoli leads to further collapse of the alveoli that's why for severe cases we may consider to give the surfactant if PPHN really happened um, inotropes, sedation, inhaled nitric oxide to decrease the pulmonary pressure can be done and for the more severe cases, the baby may need ECMO. So now you understand why the simple poop can lead to severe lung condition. So how is the prognosis? Is it really, really that severe? So overall, the prognosis um, is around 80% of the baby can discharge home from non-ICU setting. However, there is still 1% of the baby died. That's why never underestimate your poop. So, in conclusion, MES can be severe and lead to mortality. We need to be aware of this as a pediatric medical staff, as a pediatric squad. Um, we need to be careful when we see a baby with meconium stain aqua. And we watch out for PPHN, pneumothorax, and leak during MES. And we we'll see you next time in the next video. Thank you.